So the VP Bassin just got my mystery tackle box in. Uh, pretty impressed with this box, as of always. Uh, mystery tackle box changed up the program a little bit, I guess you would say. Instead of everybody uh, getting the same box, uh, there's about two or three boxes that some people got. So uh, I got this box. Somebody else might have got a different box. So I think that's pretty cool that uh, different people get to try different stuff out. But uh. If you guys are looking to try out Mystery Tackle Box, like I always start the videos off with uh, Get 499, which is uh, pretty cool because uh, you get to try a box that's definitely worth over five bucks for uh, for five bucks with shipping. But instead of those cards, they give you this little brochure this time, which tells you pretty much uh, all about your baits and uh, a little bit of about the companies and how much they retail for. So uh, first off, I'm gonna start off with the River to Seas Frog. Uh, this is a pretty cool frog. It's a little bit different than your normal frog. It's not a ho it's not a hollow belly. It's a hard it's a hard frog which uh, dives under the water a little bit and it kind of pops like a popper, but its legs uh, back and then forward. So uh, that's pretty cool. But but uh, it's the only problem with this is probably not going to be a hundred percent weedless, so it's going to be hard to throw in the thick cover, which I like to throw my uh, hollow bellies in. But for when I'm fishing around docks and submerged, when the weeds are a little bit uh, under the water, I'm definitely going to be throwing this frog instead of a hollow belly because it, it's a lot more realistic. And it's got an awesome paint job and awesome legs. Uh, you may say the legs are going to fall off or something, but they look pretty secured in there. And they've also got a replacement set of legs. So uh, I think this is going to be pretty cool for uh, the upcoming summer months. That's the River to Seas Frog. That is a... Uh, uh, Eleven ninety nine lure, so that's pretty expensive for for a box that's worth fifteen dollars, which I like. So it's, it's always good when you get when you get uh, your money worth when you spend something. Next, we just got a two pack of Mustang hooks, just a trial pack. It's uh, I believe these are four outs, and they look pretty nice. They're nice uh, wide gaps, and uh, they look like they're super lined. They're not really uh, skimsy. They look like they've got some meat on them, so that's gonna be good. Uh, next off, we got the Sidewinder in uh, the 5.5 inch worm in a in a June bone color. It's got that rivets on it, so it makes it uh, more of a realistic feel. But the pretty cool uh, the cool thing about this bait is that in the in the in the back of the worm, there's a there's a hollow chamber where you can put rattles in there. So when you're shaky head fishing or wacky rig fishing or uh, any kind of fishing with it, I guess you would say, that when you uh, twitch it or when you uh, drag it off the bottom, you're gonna get that uh, you're gonna get that rattle if you do choose to put your rattles in there, which is pretty cool. I mean, I've never heard of a plastic with that. Uh, but yep, there's a couple different ways you can rig this. Uh, shaky head is uh, a main way. Another way is a uh, tungsten weight with a uh, with that Mustang hook they gave you. Probably my favorite way is a Max Tackle and Wacky Mac, which is a, pretty much a flick shake, but a little bit different because you have a you have a hook and you have a line that's attached to a jig head, and you take your worm, you take it in half, or you take it where it's in half, you put the hook through, so it's like a wacky worm, then you take your mono and you slip it, slip it through the worm, creating a, this might be fluorocarbon, I'm not really sure, but take creating a weed guard that's not very visible and that's gonna stay there and not gonna not gonna let weeds down your hook but it's also not too it's not really a firm so that when a fish hits it it's gonna make it a bait so that's the wacky mac which I'm gonna probably be using with the sidewinder which is awesome because always I'm always looking for new uh, wacky worms so that's a sidewind sidewinder made by uh, Stanley uh, next off, we got the Excite Baits uh, Baby Urbishad. Uh, this is pretty much a fluke bait. A little bit different though because the tail is uh, twisted, like a, and it's got a small ball on the bottom. So that's gonna be cool for uh, just a uh, Texas rigging, no weight, and uh, fishing around uh, docks and skipping under them and weeds and shallow water fishing. So this is going to be a good bait for springtime. And then the last thing, my uh, favorite thing in the box is these Gambler uh, Ugly Otters. Uh, these are, I just think these are awesome because uh, 
I love punching, and I've seen a lot of people use them, like uh, Mikey Balls. I don't know if you've seen him, but he uh, he catches all those nine, ten, ten pounders in uh, Okeechobee, and he's using these with D and M custom uh, skirts and uh, tugs and weights, and just flipping them with some heavy cover, flipping them in the hydrilla, and uh, I always like to do that. I mean, I'm not catching, f I'm not catching nine or ten pounders with these, but uh, in Illinois, a uh, good five, six pounder on a, a punching is a uh, is what to expect. I mean, that's awesome when you get one of those. But uh, the cool thing about this is there's slits in it where you can uh, cut the slits so that the bait kind of flutters down and slows down its fall when you're using a heavier weight. But it's also got a big profile and it's got that it's got that beaver. It's a little bit. It's not like a traditional beaver. It's got a little bit more action, which is sometimes needed when the bait when the fish aren't really uh, hitting the normal style beaver. It's also a cool color. It's in the June Bug color. But that's the Ugly Otter by Gambler. Probably my favorite thing in the box. Even though it's not very expensive, it's still so good to try out baits that you really haven't fished with before. And it's a technique that you're always, you're, that you're wanting to try. So that's the Ugly Otter. So uh, this box is definitely worth it. It's got uh, three, three uh, packs of plastics. Uh, the side one came with four in a pack. The Ugly Otter came with three. And then the... Uh, Excite baits came with uh, three also. Then you got this frog, which is a twelve dollar lure, which is the box that if you paid for monthly is fifteen. Just keep that in mind. And then also a pack of mustang hooks. And then a little guide to help you fish these baits. So that's uh, mystery tackle box uh, for the month of January. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, like the video. Thanks.